<laughs> okay, hi again guys, welcome back to my channel, uh, my Moho workspace, and in this lesson I'll be teaching you, we'll be, won't be teaching actually, we'll just be reading through, um, we'll, be, we'll be reading through the manual, and the next chapter is teaching us how to weld, and I think in one of the landscape lessons we touched upon it about welding and as you can see I'm just gonna put the screen up where you can see where I'm reading through it and how to weld points and stuff like that and the stuff that's here it's pretty simple and I'm just gonna browse through it and see if there are any things that can be done easier or simpler in a way and basically the lessons about drawing in Moho uh, a bit more advanced I think or maybe where it's freestyle and you can do many other things so the important thing is auto weld that is what they really wanted you to have in and then I noticed auto fill I usually don't work with autofill because sometimes I want to put a different color. There's auto, also auto stroke. I think this one's useful when you're making other edits. I'll show you as we go through. But for the first lesson, I think, yeah, we can just do the stop point that they're also doing. I don't know what kind of shape that is. I'm not sure if it's a star. It's just a triangle. So here's the weld, and then it automatically welds, and simple like that. And if you have your auto stroke on, you can have an auto stroke. But I usually leave it out because sometimes I want to edit on my auto stroke with brushes, brush presets, and etc. And make changes. So I usually don't have auto stroke until like the last moment. And then browsing through so yeah that is just making the shape and then why to weld points okay so that covers welding points but why do you want to weld points again the main reason is to create fillable shapes in order to fill a shape with color that shape should be completely closed either by overlapping lines or by shapes that are welded together so that there are no gaps in the shape that you want to fill and as you can see we can change its color easily to whichever color we want and then the next thing is examples of good welding welding choices first follow the two points could be welded to create a single continuous curve so let's say we have this shape over here and then we have another shape over here and we want to weld these two shapes together we can simply click and weld and then we can simply click on them click this create shape tool and create stroke create shape and it already has a stroke and then you can select or command A and drag it across to change the weight line weight and then if you want to make it a uh, change of line weight you can click on one link drag the other way click on the other drag the other way then you have bits and pieces like that and then the next one is weld these points um, they have something that looks like this I think say so we have that and then on here we have something like like that somewhat I believe let's say something that goes up like that and this one is somewhere like that and then it wants us to weld this point and weld this point 
something like that and then create show create stroke and there you have your stroke and then you can increase the weight and we've already welded and then on the next page they tell us examples of belt bed welding typically when you weld together two points one of them should be a curve end point so that isn't always true but most often it is if you find yourself welding together two points and neither is an end point take a moment to think whether the weld is appropriate here's an example of bad choice of welding suppose you have the following two shapes you're considering welding the pair circle so this this one I find interesting also because um, I'm still learning on how to weld different face shapes and drawing and moho and some things don't actually work for me so I just want to see how I can learn from this example to improve okay so we have our shapes here and maybe we select these and make them into points like the crown there and then change its color okay Moho will let you perform these worlds it isn't really a good point idea so I don't I don't understand how they want us to weld here I think officially it just doesn't work whether you want to do it or not I guess if you open it up a bit open this one and then try weld that becomes bad or oh, I don't know um, <laughs> I don't really understand this one, but I still feel you don't actually need to weld these points. You can just simply work with this and simply just go with this, that, that. and overlap it will also help you when animating when in the timeline you can actually then animate the layers layer order and you don't have to weld these shapes and you can experiment with them better than limiting yourself and welding them so then you're gonna have this and then maybe if you go in the timeline you want to change the head shape and I don't think if you have them welded you can have the advantages but I think it's something that I also need to learn and see if it can improve my animation in any way by welding like they say but I think it's really unnecessary and then creating holes is also another fun one and I usually just go in like this and then select all and then just simply press X and then I have my my hole already that's what I normally do so here it says so fill shape is defined by curves on its order if we want to create a hole then all we need to do is create curves that outline the shape of the desired hole below we add some extra curves before creating a fill shape once you set up the curve the shape of the hole all you need to do is select the outline of the holes you can create shape too okay so let's do one of the petals And then we do that, and then maybe one of the petals, and then select all. And then uh, we can still do the same thing, select them all, 
and it a boom boom create shape and then I think if you don't have auto stroke on you can then just do it from autofill if you remove autofill and then I think we can create our own shape of some sort and then just create shape there we go and we have a different type of outline and then the other thing they say is creating hidden edges that is something new to me I may have been doing it but I wouldn't know how I've been using it or the name of it um, when drawing more complex objects like faces you often run into situations where you want an outline to only go part way around the shape that's an easy way to accomplish this in Moho start with the sample file and okay so we're just gonna open our head file that we had and then see if we can make something out of that let's say yeah I think the nose is a good one hidden edges when drawing we're working the, we could be beginning of characters face in this outline the nose separate and you can read through that on your own but I believe what they're telling is this hidden edge that I have with the hide edge tool I've hidden edge here and that nose so that is a perfect way to use it see I already used it before but I didn't actually know what they were calling it and yeah there's a name for it hidden edge it's right there and obvious uh, so yeah that's how you create a hidden edge it's basically your shape you go in between the point and you have the edge and then you can go with the line weight change line weight and also go into singular and shrink it shrink it and that's about it on that one and then varying line width we've already touched upon that and there's nothing much more I can say about that it's basically again creating a big line create shape line weight there there we go so it's just playing around dragging left to right left to right right to left whichever one works for you and that's how you can have a varying line weight and shape ordering I sort of touched upon this just a minute ago and basically let's have a circle there a triangle there and then maybe a star there and then we change the color green that one we can have it in that color and that color see what they say as you can see there are four shapes in this file by the way they overlap one another you can also tell the ordering from back to front there is a red shape raising and lowering shapes if you want to change the order of some shapes this first thing you need to do is select shape to work with using select shape tool click anywhere on the red shape it will become highlighted with a checkerboard here we've got the star green star to indicate that it is selected notice that you can also see it faintly beneath the other shapes this is obscured by the shapes to raise the shape press the arrow key on your keyboard and since ours was on top there we go as you can see it's changing so we can bring it back and press enter and it's back behind change the triangle and bring it down arrow down and it's gone behind and that's a really quick trick when you're in there it's really good when you're animating using layer shape order that is a really cool trick to have and brushes that is the next thing they talk about so you can have there's a freehand brush that we have 
and you have options you have water world pen pressure and all those if you have a pen tablet and you can play around with the settings as they have here they have a default and pen pressures smoothing smoothing you can play around with that too let's bring it up to there let's see what happens yeah it just smooths the shape out but I like to have it on zero so I can have free reign and more ability to draw on it and those are the few, few tricks that are in Moho that make it a good app to draw with and to do frame by frame animation and then also I spoke on brush presets I believe you can make brushes uh, I haven't yet learned how to do brushes, import brushes in here so I'm sure in a future lesson we'll touch upon it on um, how to create brushes, import brushes but the uh, ones that are already they are useful they create a useful effect and I quite enjoy using them when I want to have that traditional feel to turn art and as you can, we touched upon it in the other lesson when I was drawing the hair and the eyebrows we used a brush brush texture and that is useful and then layer masking that's for a pro and I think we shall touch on layer masking in a, another lesson but in detail but here we have like our head layer we can simply click on this click on the group double click go to masking and then hide all apply and then that basically hides all our artwork into the bottom layer which was the neck and then I don't want to layer that one so I say masking don't mask this layer apply and then the one I want is this one I want this one to be the masking layer so I say add to mask and then apply and then we have our face and then each thing that you don't want masked you can just remove it don't mask this layer apply the other ear I don't want to mask apply and then the nose maybe when we're moving it I don't want it masked so don't mask this layer apply and then maybe that also helps for haircuts if you want to have like a haircut or a different hairstyle you can simply just mask the old haircut and now he has short hair and if you don't want that you want to come back to his long hair you just don't mask this layer apply and then masking helps us when this stuff you want to hide like when it goes across let's say the mouth you want to go across there and then you just want that when your head turns you don't see the whole mouth and then let's have a preview of that and as you can see when you change his head direction you can have that masked and it's really really useful it's one of the favorite things that I like when you can mask you can create many things with the masking group and as the tutorial shows it's masking but I think we need to dedicate a lesson to masking as a pro and that's something that we'll work on later so for now I think we have done what we set out to do we've covered a chapter and now the lessons become more pro 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 and they need one dedicated lesson where we're actually working with the character and going into moho so anyway so if you have any questions and need any help with anything leave a comment below i'll answer it my channel is still small please subscribe support it share and hope to see you in the next video Keep animating using Moho. It's an affordable software and yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.